In the previous three videos, we created an ADBC program in an ECC system, in ECC 7.4 system, and in S4 HANA system. We debugged and checked in ECC system. In this exercise, we would create an end-to-end real-time uh, ADBC program, which we will run in S4 HANA. In the previous example, we showed a sidecar database, which was attached to the SAP system. In this example, we will not connect to any external database. Instead, we will connect to our own database, which is uh, the S4 HANA database. So while building the connection, when you are sitting on the same database, you do not need to send the database name. So if you keep the database connection blank, that means it connects to your own database. So in this example, we'll take a practical case. We'll build a selection screen. We will input a material and then we will try to get the material number, uh, material type and then a text. And then we will show them in, a, in an ALV. So let's start. Let us go to our HANA studio and create our second ADBC program. So I right click here, new web app program. I will give it a name, C. GADBC Material Metamask. So Material Master. Okay. ADBC program in S4 HANA to get to display Atmos. Material Master. All right. I'll get finish. And our second program is ready. We'll create a selection screen. So we'll have um, material and metal type. So let me say S Magner for say Mara Magner. And then I'll say S MTART for Mara MTRT. And then I'll so they does not understand Mara, so I have to give tables Mara, and then I'll have one more parameter. Parameters I'll have p underscore db type dbcon. Okay, so this is the database connection name. For better clarity of the program, I will create some subroutines in this. Uh, demo so I'll create perform and end form so let me write down the skeleton of the perform and form and then we can write the code inside the subroutine in the best interest of your time I have just jotted down the subroutines which I am going to use so if you see here I'm using for the first step so we defined that there were eight steps so here I'm showing nine steps the ninth one is the display output so let me show you the first one. So we'll make a database connection. In this example, we will not connect to any database. We will leave this PDB as blank so that it gets connected to the default database that is our S4 HANA system. Then we will ins um, we will instantiate the SQL statement. Then we will prepare a, a where clause. And I'll show you how to prepare a dynamic where clause as well in this example then we will issue the uh, sql calls then assign the target variable for the result sets then we will retrieve all the result sets we will close the query and then we will close the database connection and finally we will show the output in an alv ideally you should not be writing uh, perform and form in as for HANA, it should be object oriented. You should use a class and methods. But for simplicity, I am using subroutine. You can extend it to oops. So let me first write the make DB connection subroutine. Okay. So I have this skeletal. So the first thing which I need to do is we need to get the database name. So get DB. So if we do not pass uh, any DB name, then the default DB gets created. So I'll say LR SQL connection 
so I'll, I'll use the syntax so it will be a little different than which I showed earlier SQL but it will do the same thing connection get connection so I'll just use so in this if I pass the DB uh, name then it will connect to that DB if I do not pass anything then it will connect to the um, its own database which is the default S4 HANA meanwhile let me define all the global variables for our ease and also I'll define the type which I want to display at the end so this is the global variables I have defined so this is the final output which I want to show in the LV I'll just give some message type so because I want to throw an error message ID says Z1 so this is the output we I'm going to show and then these are the classes uh, which we will be using in the eight steps which which we have already seen all right so let me come back so get the database connection one important thing when working with um, classes and methods is that we should always use try and try okay so it it prevents your program from dumping if in case there is any error so you should always do try and try and catch the exceptions so i'll say catch cx parameter i'll say invalid so how do i know this um if if you work on this you will know which one to use so you can be you can use any other as well but i'm using this one into so i have already defined lr parameter invalid type so i've defined it earlier but you can do inline declaration as well and then i could have used the inline declaration like catch cx parameter invalid underscore type into what data i'll say lr invalid type so i could have done this one also uh, i just need to comment this out control 7 i told you last time so you see the first case i am using a variable which we declared on the top over here right invalid parameter and in the second case i am using the inline declaration okay so both will work both will work but why i am not using an inline declaration over here and why did i not use in the first place because I want to reuse this variable. So LR's SQL's connection, I want to use it in another separate subroutines. But this one, LR invalid type, I cannot use in another subroutine because this behaves like a temp, uh, like a local variable. So this is a local variable to this subroutine. You cannot access it in another one. But if I had declared in globally, I could use in different. So it's your choice how you want to handle it. So I'll just comment the second one and I'll uncomment the first one again. Okay, or I, I'll and then you have to throw the error message. So throwing error message is also like you can do data LV error uh, and equals to LR para meter invalid type invalid type and then I'll get a get what do you need get text you need to want to get text and then it can be saved here so this is inline declaration but you could have also done so I'll, I'll copy this guy and I can use the variable which I have already defined so if I go if you go up I have used this one error text string okay so we could have used this one as well so choice is yours so I'll, I'll just comment this one so this is inline but you should be using inline declaration more often but i just wanted to show you how inline can be done and how the global variable can be done as well so once you catch the messages you need to display it so i'll say e00 with L V E R R O R T X T. All right. So this is one method. So this is one exception we call. So we can catch some more exceptions. So there are uh, different exceptions which we need to catch. So I can say 
parameter invalid into lr sql parameter invalid so you can do this um you can do that as well in line but i'm using from the global variable and i will use this i'll try to copy this i'll enter here and i'll just change the parameter type it's invalid and then i will show the message so you can understand why i am using this one now because i can reuse it if if i had declared this then ideally SAP says that you should not use this inline declaration in another line it should be used only for this purpose i cannot use here i have to define another lv error too all right if this line is crying because i have sql here and i did not mention sql so this should be good now perfect similarly i can catch another exception so you might not need every exception in every sentence every syntax but just showing it for your knowledge so i am using exception this is sql exception then i will write i'll just copy this and change it okay just it will save some time of yours and mine i'll go here i'll just change this lr sql exception and then i'll show the messages so i'll just try to do a pretty printer so pretty printer is shift f1 okay and then uh, i'll also show in case you are using an alv i'll just write catch cx salv msg into so into data you can do or i have defined it and then i'll just copy this guy from top I'll use it here and i'll just change lr salv exception and then get text all right i'll do shift f1 again one more time just to format and and try so this n try is crying because i missed a d over there so we should be good now i'll do shift f1 one more time and it formats so our first subroutine is done so what do we do we are trying to get the database name so if we do not pass the database name if you do not pass the database name in this parameter then it will pull the default database so in our case it is s4 hana so here you could have used an inline declaration but since i want to use this variable in other subroutine as well therefore i am not doing inline i am declaring it in the global place similarly this text this text could have been declared inline just like here this example but in that case then this text lv underscore error could not be used in other places because SAP suggests the inline declared data should be used only for its line not for the other uh, syntaxes okay otherwise it will defeat its purpose so the first subroutine is done now let's go to the second one second one is to instantiate the statements let's do, see how we can do that so I have created a form for that so we try to build a connection let's see if it is bound so our syntax should be so since i'm trying to show you some real project one so if we should always test if this is bound only then do what we are trying to do else throw an error so so if if the connection is not built then we can throw an error saying message uh, i'll say no connection established and I'll say this is a type I and then do a leave list processing right leave list processing Full stop. so I'll also do shift F1 just to format it but if it is bound that means if the connection is built then we can get the SQL statement reference using the instance of the connection so I'll show you a different one uh, we can say create object so I have already defined this object Uh, exporting 
আছে কন আর সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য রেফারেন্স দ্য ওয়ান উইচ উই অলরেডি বিল্ড দ্য কানেকশন উইথ সো ইফ ইউ ইফ ইউ গো দ্যার আল ডু শিফট এফ ওয়ান সো আই রিলি ইউ আর মোর অ্যাকাস্টম ইউজ টু চেক ইন দিস ফরম্যাট রাইট সো হোয়াট ইজ দিস এল আর এস কোয়েল কানেকশন এল আর এস কোয়েল কানেকশন ইজ দিস ওয়ান সো দ্যাট ইজ দ্য রিজন ওয়াই আই এম আই ডিক্লেয়ার ইট ইন দ্য গ্লোবাল ভ্যারিয়েবল বিকজ আই ওয়ান্টেড টু ইউজ ইট ইন আনাদার সাব রুটিন বাট ইউ গুড হ্যাভ অলসো ডিক্লেয়ার লাইক দিস সে আই সেট ডেটা এল আর এস কোয়েল স্টেটমেন্ট আল সেট টু দিস and since this is not here so i'll say lr sql state lr sql connection all right so this both both this statement this one and this one means the same so this one is the better one because in one line you did so many jobs in first one you had to define this one lr sql statement in the global variable and then you have to write create object exporting right but but in this case in one line you did not need to define this it's defined here and you just write the statement create statement no exporting no importing directly you can do this so but i'm just commenting this out um, for your reference uh, i would say use this one in your projects but if you want to use it reuse it you might want to do it in this way all right I could have also done this. That means I could have just commented it out, toggle command, and then I could have did this, and then I could have simply used create statement for the variable or the reference variable which I have already defined. So this this two means the same. Okay. So you can use this syntax or you can use the same this syntax. Both are same. So I'll just comment this. Control seven, and then I'll uncomment this. Shift seven. Oops. Right. It should be control seven. Yeah. Toggle uncomment. Okay. Hmm. So control seven. Control seven. So I'm I'm going with this one. and again uh, you should also use the try and try okay try and try so that if there is any exception it catches it so uh, and then catch so what are the catches i'll just copy the catches from the top so um i'm using everything but you should be using only the one which you need for this for the for the calls which you are making all right so i'll just say do everything so what we did we did two steps build the connection and then instantiate the sql since the video is already more than 18 minutes i'll stop here and we'll continue in the next video from from step 3